Steelmade Company Limited has been focusing on the design and development of the automotive safety electronics for the automotive aftermarket since 1993, when it was established. And with great achievements made in the past two decades, it has become one of the leading automotive parts provider in China, specializing in design, manufacture, and sell of automotive safety electronics. In 2003, Steelmade strategically expanded into OE business with dedication to OE market for over a decade. Steelmade has. Forged a reliable business relationship with mainstream car manufacturers such as GAC, Chang'an Auto, Jili Auto, Cherry Auto, Great Wall Motor, Xiaopeng Auto, BAIC Motor. As a technically leading automotive electronics provider, Steelmade is always customer oriented and has independently developed. Body Control Module BCM series with extraordinary data computing and processing abilities. BCM is capable of centralized control of a variety of in-car electronic devices, such as electronic device for door and window control, central control lock, remote alarm system, light control, wiper control. To further satisfy customer demand on more convenient driving, Steelmate makes a step forward to launch IBCM. That integrates multiple functions of the BCMs: keyless entry and start, PEPS series with low frequency and low frequency two-way wireless communication. PEPS is able to remotely control opening car door and starting the car. When the PEPS is detected in the defined range, advanced RFID radio frequency identification technology used will authorize the vehicle to activate the system functions such as automatic unlock, keyless ignition. T-box to follow the industrial trend of intelligent and convenient driving. Steelmate rolls out T-box system, which enables the interactive functions between internet and hardware in the vehicle, making it possible to view vehicle status, to control or start vehicle remotely through the app in smartphone that is designed to participate in a vehicle control system. Furthermore, Steelmate has technically engaged in the development of Parking Assist System (PAS) Tire Pressure Monitoring System (TPMS) and is offering on the market a set of automotive electronic solutions, including sensors, controllers, and networked devices, in order to serve the car manufacturer better and keep in alignment with the automotive development trend. Steelmate established the Guangdong Engineering Technology (RMB) Center by taking advantage of high-performance data processing. And strategy algorithm in onboard computer and 5G-based connectivity to facilitate the traffic information between vehicle and man, vehicle and road, vehicle and backend control systems exchanged and shared in a more intelligent manner, achieving a safer, greener, and more enjoyable driving. With the product development experience and technical accumulations gained from OE business, Steelmate upgrades the products that target aftermarket business, attaching more importance to technology and quality of products. Since 1993, Steelmate has served millions of drivers in over 12,000 outlets in more than 800 cities across China to meet the requirements of aftermarket. Steelmate has launched over 5,000 types of automotive electronics all through these years, including car alarm system (CAS) as China's number one brand in car alarm system. Steelmate has developed a number of car alarm systems, including one-way alarm and two-way alarms, which are both stylish and trendy. With in-depth analysis of consumer preferences in the market, Steelmate will be continuously offering drivers more options of alarm solutions. Tire pressure monitoring system (TPM). MS, involving from black-white display to color display, from powered by electrical power supply to solar energy, from external sensor to built-in sensor, Steelmate TPMS has emerged as the best product of its kind, a benchmark in the industry. In 2019, Steelmate Mini Ones, a multifunctional TPMS specifically designed for women, made its debut. It keeps the original TPMS function while integrating more daily life convenience, such as in-car scent freshener. Mobile phone holder and parking number reminder, together with its Microm's color scheme, make it well received among female drivers. Parking Assist System. 
PAS with in-depth command of ultrasonic sensing technology. Steel mode developed parking sensors for both front and rear obstacle detection. The system is able to detect accurately the obstacles and remind drivers of the distance, assisting drivers with driving in narrow lanes, reverse parking, and parallel parking, blind spot detection (BSD) with microwave radar technology. Steelmate developed a blind spot detection system that can detect approaching cars from blind or from the neighboring lanes entering the blind zones, and then remind drivers of being cautious when changing or merging lanes under such circumstances, helping drivers keep a safer driving in harsh environments such as in rainy, foggy, or snowy weather. Front glitching warning (FCW). Steelmate was the first company. Adopting military-grade microwave radar technology to develop FCW that detect accurately the dynamic distance between the front vehicles when driving at a speed of over 30 kilometers per hour. The system can work well all day long without being influenced by bad environment such as in rain, foggy, snowy, and hazy weather, and issue warnings if necessary to avoid potential collisions. One's driving safety system and integration of multiple functional modules. In 2019, Steelmate brought forward the innovative concept of multi-modular safety application configurations, and later revealed its One's driving safety system, which integrated the various safety functions used for safe driving. And displayed all the real-time driving data via its DVR screen, existing Android infotainment dashboard, or LED screen, thus improving significantly the driving safety and comfort. This system also is designed to allow drivers to select their favorite safety applications based on personal requirements and purchase preferences. Hammer Audio. Driving, besides being safe, should also be enjoyable. Steelmate has dived deep in the research in car audio and created Hammer Audio brand with a set of audio products, including DSP power amplifier, onboard power amplifier, onboard subwoofer, and high-quality loudspeaker. With the customer-tailored products and services, Steelmate is providing drivers with a safer and more acoustically enjoyable ride. Every innovation is by no means accidental. Adhering to the principle that innovation creates productivity, Steelmate has established a large R&D team with more than 1,000 professionals who are involved in research and design programs with universities and research institutes, as well as business partners such as Chongqing University, Beijing Institute of Technology, and Guangdong University of Technology, Hong Kong Applied Science and Technology Research Institute, MeterTech Incorporated, Hong Kong Productivity. Cantor Nutrition still may to establish the strategic partnership with world-known European and American companies, and were granted for more than 500 local and international patents, with over 70,000 technical articles published. Where there's no standard, there's no quality. This is the universally acknowledged rule in manufacturing sector. In this regard, Steelmate has passed the strict management system of IATF 16949/2016 specifically for automotive industry. And other standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 14000, all these standards and systems are being kept effectively running to ensure the quality. Steelmate Industrial Park covers an area of more than 60,000 square meters and is mainly equipped with 45 modern production lines, a fully automatic AK1 workshop, an in-house mode workshop, and ISO 17025 compliant testing center. All are respectively arrayed with high-speed. High-precision automatic machinery from world-class companies in Germany and Japan, like Siemens and Yamaha. Solid product development and production capacity, together with continuous pursuit of innovation and high quality, are the making of Steelmade. This is what Steelmade stands in China. Think safety, think Steelmade. This is a serious commitment made by the Steelmade. That to serve each and every customer with the most willing heart all through the entire process, starting from product innovation to product after sale service, having customers' voices listened, their requirements satisfied, and their defective products freely returned. Steelmate actively organizes marketing meetings with deeply studying customer requirements. And established Steelmate Business School with top consulting institutions to map out optimal product marketing solutions based on marketing strategy and image promotion of service provider. Thereby creating a new business value chain in the aftermarket business by helping service providers to build more connections with customers, 
and then achieve more footfalls. Steelmate in the world. Steelmate stands high in Chinese market and is expanding into world market. Steelmate is vigorously expanding into international market by exploring in-depth cooperation with famous overseas automotive parts brands to cater to the needs of customers worldwide. So far, Steelmate has provided for millions of overseas drivers with various products that found good markets there. Moreover, since 2003. Steelmate has kept attending overseas automotive exhibitions and frequently won international awards, demonstrating Chinese quality products and the refreshing image of Chinese enterprise. By 2020, Steelmate products have been exported to and sold in over 8,000 outlets in more than 50 countries and regions worldwide. With quality products and trustworthy brand service, Steelmate products are highly recognized by customers at home and abroad. Για πάνω από δέκα χρόνια. Σκεφτείτε με ασφάλεια, σκεφτείτε Steelmate. Ja, Steelmate toodab maailma parimaid parkimisaldureid. Think Steelmate. Steelmate yra patikimas mūsų partneris daugiau nei dešimt metų. Steelmate has been our reliable partner for years with high quality products. Steelmate has been our reliable partner for years with high quality products. Think safety, think Steelmate. Ale drugiem iznajomo. Paragošimo ras. Компания Avix сотрудничает с Тюмей с 2000 года. Мы будем. Вы As a leader in automotive electronics, Steelmate has always been at the forefront of making automotive safety electronics available on the market in China. This is Steelmate, a dominating achiever in China, a vigorous competitor in the world. Think safety. Think Steelmate. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Mark from the Steelmate. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Will from the Steelmate. Uh, welcome to our Canton Fiat Live Showroom. Today, uh, we will talking about our the parking sensor and then the car lap. Hi, Will. Yeah. Do you know that um, at the very as I just uh, talking about yesterday, uh, we talk about the motorcycle alarm. Motorcycle alarm. It is the uh, I think the first. Uh, product is producing by the Steelmate uh, yeah. before 30 years ago uh, because of the motorcycle alarm. Uh, we, uh, ours, the boss, the Mr. Lee, have founded the uh, Steelmate to uh, to manufacture more product for the more customer. In the past few years, um, we have developed different kind of the product. After the motorcycle, we will come such as a car alarm, parking system, BSD, TVMS. FCW and so many different kind of the product, and the latest is the BBC alarm. It is a very hot sell product in the Italy and some European the country. And today we will be talking about the parking sensor and then the car alarm.、Mm, I think it might be that 
uh, parking sensor. It is the last uh, uh, device we use when we are at the end of the journey. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when we are, we have to stop the car and park it too well, so that um, we can go to the, uh, we can go to the super mall or go to another place. This is the end of the journey. But in my opinion, that it is also the beginning of the journey. Do you know why, Mr. Mr. Will? Yeah. Because when we start the car, we integrate the car. We have to make the car to out of the position first. Yeah. But in the very narrow and the very uh, small space, we have to make it maybe twice. Yeah. So that we can go out there. So the first device we will using for the for the driving start uh, at the beginning of the journey i think that is the parking sensor because we have the front parking sensor and then the rear parking sensor when they were together so that our car can go out properly yeah. so maybe it's the and then we will enjoy our the more safety the uh, product such as the a in one uh, a in one one s the system yeah. such as the tbms system such as uh, a uh, price for such as the FCW, so many the system will be used in the later. But uh, I think it's the first of it. It is the parking sensor to start our journey, and then it is also the last the device we are uh, using. We yeah, finish the journey. So I think that uh, the parking sensor plays the role that at the beginning of our journey and then the end of our journey. So today we will discuss about our the uh, parking sensor. Yeah. So um, in the past few years, Miss uh, ours the still may have a developed different kind of the parking sensor with the different kind of the display, and then at the same time we also provide different the parking sensor, um, such as the ultrasonic parking sensor, such as the digital parking sensor, uh, such as the uh, ECU lease parking sensor to the different kind of the car manufacturer, so that. Uh, the original car can be compliant with the parking sensor. But as I have been to so many countries, such as the, uh, Vietnam or go to the another workstation, AOI testing station, each and every piece of soldier PCB will be inspected by AOI tester for any functional or physical defect. Then the OK populated PCBs will be placed into the anti-static plastic box and transferred to DIP workshop for further processing. Now we are in DIP workshop. We can see this PCB from SMT workshop are in place and this PCB will be inserted with other plug-in electronic components. So right after plug-in components insertion and before waving soldering, we have a check station to visual inspect whether components are inserted correctly without any defect. Then as what is done in SMT workshop, you got the components soldered onto the PCB. So the way soldering oven is in place, to solder the components for a certain time and a certain temperature. When the solder PCB comes out of the oven, we have got a checking station here visually inspected the soldering quality. At last, to ensure quality and function of the components and the PCBAs, we got ICT test at the end of the line to give all PCBAs a thorough physical and functional inspection. And the PCBA tested OK will be transferred to assembly workshop. Well, now we are in the Parking Assist System Assembly Workshop. In this workshop, the finished products will be assembled and packaged manually. We can see that after assembling parts onto the PCBAS, the semi-finished products will have to go through a test machine for functional test. After the scheduled parts are assembled, we have a check station here to test again all the functional performance of the product before they can be through to package station. This is roughly how our product is being produced and how the workshop are running. And next, I will show you around the testing center and tell you what it's capable of. Hey guys, now we are standing in front of gate of the testing center. Let's go and take a closer look. Wow, look at this certificate. case. Here we get testing capability approvals from national organization and OEM customers. The testing center is accredited by CNAS in accordance with ISO 17025 general work requirements on testing and calibration. Going forward, we will see the automotive test system.
It is a testing system that can simulate the harsh electronic environments in vehicles and test the anti-interference capability of power supply electronic pumps for the product. Next to it is the shielding room where CI tests are performed to verify the capability of the products to affect other objects. Here is another room with test device sourced from Japan. It can simulate as high as 30 kV static charge to test the product. Out of anti-static test room, we now come into environmental test room. You can see the test chambers are all occupied by the products being tested. High temperature test and low temperature test Source spray tests are being performed in this room. On the right side is the automatic radar detection test room. The radar detection range can be verified here, and the test data will be shown and stored in the related computer. In this room, we got inspection tools such as X-ray machine, rose tester, and a microscope that can magnify image up to 2,000 times. Then on the first floor, we have other test requirements. Mechanical shock table is used to test products for its endurance of mechanical shock. Three-in-one temperature test chamber is used to perform the high temperature test, low temperature test, and vibration test. Okay guys, what I have shown you today are only parts of the competitive that still make production line and testing. such as resistor, capacitor, diodes, chipsets, and place them onto the specific location based on the computing program. After components placed onto the solder paste layer, we will have them to go through this reflow soldering oven for a certain time at certain temperature, so that the components are firmly soldered with the PCBs. Okay, here we are at the last workstation, AOI testing station. Each and every piece of solder PCB will be inspected by AOI tester for any functional or physical defect. Then the OK populated PCBs will be placed into the anti-static plastic box and transferred to DIP workshop for further processing. Now we are in DIP workshop. We can see this PCB from SMT workshop are in place and this PCB will be inserted with other plug-in electronic components. So right after plug-in components insertion and before waving soldering, we have a check station to visually inspect whether components are inserted correctly without any defect. Then as what is done in SMT workshop, you got the components soldered onto the PCB. So the way soldering oven is in place to solder the components for a certain time at a certain temperature. When the solder PCB come out of the oven, we have got a checking station here visually inspected the soldering quality. At last, to ensure quality and function of the components and the PCBAs, we've got ICT test at the end. This, oh, good morning, everyone. This is Mark from the Steelmate. Good morning, everyone. This is Will from the Steelmate. Uh, today, so we are very so appreciate so all the friends come to our so live showroom to see our so live show about our so, uh, Steel Made product. Mm, Steel Made is the modern, more than 27 years old so company. It develops so, so many products such as a motorcycle sensor, a motorcycle so alarm, a car alarm, a TPMS. Um, Bright spot detector, uh, FCW, and then so far ours the latest the product is the one as the product. Actually, we still may also uh, develop different kind of the product for the OE pro products, such as the 
uh, DVR such as the PPS, such as the T-Box. Such a kind of the product, it is also very good choice for the car maker. And then we also the, uh, provide so many products for the after sales market at this moment. Um, now, now, yesterday, we have uh, introduced our the steel maze, the motorcycle alarm, and today we will bring our the two kind of the uh, two range of the two kind of the products, such as the parking sensor and then uh, car alarm. Hey, Will, do you have uh, any the idea about the parking sensor? Uh, for the as the driver, we not only need to pay attention when we are driving. So when we are driving, we usually use some kind of product such as the TPNS rotor being the tire pressure and the bright spot detection to mark, to uh, pay attention to the uh, car to who which uh, run into our bright spot area which can we cannot see the view uh, view from the rear rear mirror and the side mirror and also we also have the SW uh, SCW to have the uh, courses when we may uh, uh, help us to make attention to the front car when we are driving and when we have uh, end our uh, journey of the driving we also uh, need to have the parking uh, to be honest uh, uh, when as a five years uh, driver as me uh, we usually uh, I usually uh, park the car uh, based on my sense only Mm -hmm. And if we, uh, if I have not installed the parking sensor for our car, for my car, so maybe get, sometimes I will get crash and we get grab of my bumper. Oh. Normally, uh, we are park when we parking a car. When we parking a car, we normally uh, use the uh, rear parking sensor or the front parking sensor. For the rear parking sensor, we maybe will be the. Uh, May be easy for us to know how to park the how to park the car through the rear river and your sense, mm. and then if there will be the parking sensor for rear purpose, there will be a display of bumper to warning you. Uh, but uh, normally, if we have the front car, or uh, maybe uh, just maybe at the front car, uh, we also have the parking. When you parking, will be the maybe have some ties to have the uh, courses to the front bumper on mm -hmm. also. So uh, we mainly will be probably high possibility to get crashed for the front parking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we in our normal uh, driving tie of the parking, we uh, will the we have the requirement for the front parking and the or the rear parking for help us for the for our parking. Mm. Uh, our still may have uh, there will be any kind of product for recommended to our friends for the front parking or the rear parking. Mm. Um, at this moment, we have a different uh, so many product uh, we can recommend to our the customer to our friend today. Uh, we develop the uh, difference the display with the different sensor. Uh, but today we will introduce a very funny and very uh, useful the parking sensor to our friends. Uh, the first one it is our the durable, durable, uh, durable the parking sensor. This is a durable parking sensor. It means that it can be used for for the from parking and from the rear parking. Um, just uh, just uh, like a seller or dealer in a shop, to some degree they have to distinguish which kind of the sensor should be the from sensors. The another when the another kind of the sensor should be the uh, rear sensor because the from sensor detects the distance is different to the rear sensor. Uh, the rear sensor detects the distance about two meter. Do you know yeah. do you know how many meter for, for the from sensor detection? Uh for the detect from sensor detection our design will be one meter, right? Uh, I think that it is the around one meter. So that it means that uh, 0 0.8 to the 1 liters. Uh, that it means that uh, when we buy our the parking sensor, if you want to use the rear parking sensor or on the as a uh, from parking sensor, that will cause the longer distance to detect it. So, but it is no necessary to detect the in the long 
a long distance. So at this moment, it can uh, detect it in the one meter zero point eight to the one meter. That will be enough for the from parking sensor. Uh, from parking sensor, when they were so, but this kind of our new product. Uh, just that uh, one very the EC operation on the ECU that can be changed from the rear parking sensor to the front parking sensor. When I am a dealer, when I put this kind of product on my shop, I just uh, tell my customer that mm, you just can update it into the front on the rear parking sensor and I don't need to necessarily to consider it to import or to buy two kind of the product in my shop. Maybe yeah. take an example. May, maybe I'm a I'm a uh, distributor in uh, in a shop and then I will buy the uh, 100, 100 pieces of the array uh, parking sensor and additional about 15 pieces of the parking sensor of it. But as we see we do not need to buy it into two different. Yeah. We just buy one set of it. Total is the 150 pieces of the uh, parking sensor. That will be okay at this moment. Um, take example. Uh, I have to use additional the warehouse the space to contain the more different product. Why not to make the two product into the one so yeah. that as I'm a dealer, I just uh, have a simple and then very easy the operation on the ECU. That will be finished. And then the customer can install the, the parking sensor uh, in a very uh, fast way, fast uh, installation. Yeah. So uh, at this moment, it is uh, very good for this kind of the uh, parking sensor. It saves the uh, dealer the, the time. Store. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the first is about the store. They do not need to have the uh, additional store for the from parking sensor. Honestly, yeah. as my customers, the uh, group, uh, they have to prepare some, not too much actually, not too much, because the from parking, it is not very popular in the abroad country. Honestly, compare when I compare the data of the rear, rear parking sensor. And then we have also been to the Thailand and then also been to the Malaysia and Philippines and to see how is the market at this moment. Yeah. Most of the car is not compatible with the, uh, mm -hmm. rear, uh, the rear, rear parking sensor. But yeah. less the car have the front parking sensor. In Thailand, maybe yeah. they have the rear parking sensor, but they no do have the front parking sensor. Yes, they do not have the front parking sensor. So that is the habit of the driver. They they know the from parking sensor. They know it very well. But at the, this moment, the rear parking sensor is the main train in this kind of the country. So, so what is going on on it? So we should prepare some, not too much about the rear. Maybe eighty percent to the eighty percent for the rear parking sensor. Uh, twenty percent of the uh of the from parking sensor, yeah. maybe increase the maybe maximum is the 30%, 35% about the from parking sensor, so that the customer can have a choice for it. Yeah. But to some degree, as I have the mentioned, there is no necessary to prepare to distinguish together in our product for PS TTS411. Yeah. TTS411, it is not necessary to distinguish because it is a durable purpose durable purpose of the parking sensor product. Okay, uh, how do you know it's the, how it is the durable of the parking sensor? Uh, I heard that is to the address the ECU, right? Yes, there is this, the ECU for it. Okay, so let me show you how it is the BB. Uh, here it is our ECU, it is small and compact size. And then here is the one sensor, two sensor, three, four, four sensor. Uh, maximum can be the four sensor uh, from the rear parking. Of course, you can install it in two sensor for it. It is also available for it. And then the another is the display the connection. This is the uh, speaker. We, we uh, this is the speaker is the port. This is the power port. That is it. And then the, the as you see the rear the rear as you see this is F and R. Uh, for the default setting, we will put it into the R for the rear. For F means from. So when I just uh, remove this the drum cable, 
That means we adjust this uh, jumper to yeah to to adjust uh, we, we are to use for front or rear parking. Yeah, we we just uh, you are correct, Mr. Will. We just uh, use it just uh, just like do like this. That becomes the from parking sensor. So when I want to back it to the front area, just remove this the jumper and back to the rear. Ah. Okay, back to the rear, that will be become the rear, rear, the parking sensor. So, it is the very good one and then the very the, uh, nice design for our ECU. Uh, do you know more? Uh, this is our the basic function for this kind of the hours the parking sensor. Do you know more hours the uh, feature about hours the product about sensor or everything? Do you know it, Mr. Will? Uh, you can see that there will be two. You can see this uh, cover right there is the two uh, high level to adjust for to adjust the jumper for us. This is for the purpose to adjust the sensitivity of the. Of our sensor, maybe uh, as you see, there will be there are some car, some car the height of the car bumper is different. Some is will be higher, some is will be lower. If for the low, is for the uh, lower car, you can choose the uh, lower sensitive one to adjust the sensor. Because if uh, the sensor, if the if the sensor to choose the higher sensitivity. There will be the uh, low. Uh, uh, it will be the miss arm, um, miss uh, miss uh, cause miss miss alarm for the detection area. Do you understand? Mm, I actually I cannot get it. Could you explain again? Uh, that means that if the if this uh, if this car is the lower height of the bumper, mm -hmm. if we uh, adjust the high sensitivity. Higher sense, higher sensitivity of the of the sensor, mm -hmm. they will detect the ground. Oh, I see. Maybe that is the reference to the bumpers, the highness, the bumpers, the height. Mm, as we see, if the we have a different car of the model such as the Polo, the Polo is a small and the low, uh, low the bumpers the car to the ground. If we adjust it in the high sensitivity, it will may it may will detect to the ground. It's not to detect the move object or to another object. So that is the uh, one kind of the uh, uh, we have to share this the knowledge with you because the sen it is not means that high sensitivity is the good. Uh, it is the it must be the good one because different car have a different uh, requirement. We should use the proper the proper sensitivity of the uh, cars uh, the sensor so that it can be suitable for different of our car. So that is the explanation about the sensitivity. And then the what is more, do you have a more idea about this kind of the ECU? Uh, this kind of the ECU also can be the. Learning function for to if your car have a uh, have a tow bar, this means that uh, if your spare part on the tow bar, this means that if your car have the tow bar or the spare part, there will be the uh, actual at, actual length of the of the spare part mm. or the spare tire or the tow bar. So that means your learn your detection area will be the further, further one to adjust your detection area. Uh, this is the smart technology for our ECU. Mm, it looks like very nice the product. Um, it can be considered a uh, this kind of the four PS four one one have a different the uh, uh, very the this a uh, very the uh, I think unique unique feature uh, the feature to help the driver to uh, the one if the car with the tow bar and then the everything and then uh, maybe I have a brief the introduction about this kind of the ECU uh, this kind of the ECU as you see the the, the material for the, the housing is the very strong the ABS the material so that it can be suffers the low temperature and then the high temperature even this kind of the ECU can be used uh, a very fast uh, country it will not have any problem to be mailed or to be have uh, any problem. The second, uh, ours the issue is uh, complied with 
the chip. The chip, it is the car level chip. It is not the very cheap and then very the, uh, low level the car uh, chips. Uh, what it is the car level? Car level, it means that higher than the industrial level, lower than the military level. So if the, it is the military level, the product, it means that for the military purpose, the car levels, the product is mean the car levels, the purpose. What is more, our component, it is not only the chip, it is the vehicle level. What is more, it is for the uh, another component. Take example, the capacitor, take example, the resistor uh, are in the car levels, the uh, product are in the car levels, the component that it helps the holes, the ECU can work very properly, no matter for the any the situation. Um, that is the one of the feature about our the ECU. The B is the component, it is very good because as long as a product comply with a good component, it is the performance will be good for it. And, and the then the Yeah. And then the, 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 the another issue is about the paint. We have the paint, the anti humidity the oil. We paint it in the internal of the PCB ball. That will help us to work against the high humidity the area so that the component will not be affected by the high humidity. So that it is another another very the unique and very the good the, uh, feature, feature of, the of ECU. ECU. And then at this moment I see there with the siren of it, buzzer of it. The buzzer, there is, this is the buzzer for it. Here is the some, the, okay, let me, uh, we, we can talk, we can see uh, ours, the cable. Maybe you can see this is the black cable for it. Actually, the cable, it is in the copper. In the, some of the low, uh, I, as I know, some of the, maybe the supplier, we provide the cable in the iron, in the, some aluminum, in some kind of it. But this kind of the cable, we provide it in the copper. The copper is the cable. The copper cable can help uh, the uh, data delivery, the lifespan, it is the better than another kind of the product yeah. at this moment. It will be more stable, uh, not any interference for the detection. So that is the reason we use the so many kind of good uh, component because as we see we provide our product to our the customer it is the purpose to help them to have a better the driving experience it's not to just uh, maybe to some degree they have uh, some problem they have to go to the workshop again they will uh, come come cause it for it and then that is the reason we have to have a uh, better the yeah, product, better component. better component to to ensure they have a very good the uh, driving experience. That it is the what we are doing for our product at this moment. And then um, the second one, uh, what is more, we have uh, our the sensor. Okay, it's, uh, this is the our sensor. Our sensor, it is our sensor core. Here it is our the rubber. The rubber, it is here to fix to the uh, bumper will be have a stronger. And then it can absorb the vibration when the car in the driving. So that is the reason we still may have to use this uh, rubber to uh, uh, better to control the uh, abs absorb the vibration for it. So this, this cover can be taken out. Uh, actually, this kind of the model cannot be taken. Uh, the cover, this is the cover range can be taken out to change to different range. This can be taken out for change to different range. What's the purpose of it? Mm, when we install our the bumper, the bumper size have a difference. The sensitivity to the object is different. That is the reason we change a different sense sensor cover. They can be uh, adjust, have a different uh, adjust the angle of it. Yes, you are correct. We will we can adjust the angle about the sensor so that it can detect in the good the direction. Yeah. For it, so we think that it is the very good one for the our the product, and then we we will combine with the different. As we see, we have different angle. We have a different angle. So for the 
for the different the purpose for the car driver. That is the what we still may thinking about. Okay. The fields. Okay, we also have the fields. We also have the fields. We have also have the fields for the hours the um uh, table in case any the problem is the uh, come across uh, over current over voltage that will be have uh, it can uh, uh warn the 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 short curve the short curve for it. Okay, here just a brief the introduction for it for our the uh four one one PTS and what is more we our detection it is very precisely uh some I just uh, received uh, you do you know the ring day wedding day yeah uh, how is the work it can be work in the heavy soil or the heavy rain, rain heavy rain or the very hot weather yes because our product experienced the high temperature low temperature and high humidity test and then what is more do you know some any the uh, idea about the raining and then the snow day because when the raining is very heavy yeah. that just like the moving object to some degree it will affect it, your the rear parking sensor to detect it so it may we detect the ring it may detect the ring at this moment our product yeah. will have this problem of it actually we are our product can uh, can not detect the ring we detect the object properly because our the design and our the calculation it is very advanced so it will detect it the uh, uh, not the ring uh, it will detect the F, detect it the moving object i'm uh, not yeah. moving object the object it is not the ring so uh, sometimes as we see some of the customer when they uh, activate the parking sensor they detect the rings so if you have the beep beep then it will be annoyed for the driver so yeah. we do not detect the rings for it so this is one of it the, the second we use the triangle cum uh, accumulation do you know what is it, the triangle can you please explain to our friends okay take example here is the four sensor for it maybe the first sensor will be sent the uh, will be emit the ultrasonic to detect uh, it will come back to the next sensor we will come back to the this sensor or this sensor or to this sensor so that we can receive the information by another the sensor what it help it will help the calculation will be more pre uh, precisely maybe this sensor uh, goes up another sensor can receive it this is looks like a triangle back try and go back to another try and go back so this is a try and go calculation for our steel made product um, for the, for the for the more this calculation can be at the one the sum is a shock uh, in China as you see uh, yeah. you you know you know that uh, you do a lot of the um, OE program in for the Toyota for the car maker uh, we know it to some degree if you detect it to the another small small star how can I say stop the stop the very low one the stop yeah to some degree maybe you will detect the small stop the small stop um, it will be annoyed for you but it is not necessary to detect it actually the low running do you remember yeah, it yeah, in, yeah. The, in the in the in the project of the parking sensor so um, that is the what we are talking about it is the new uh, this is the we can avoid to detect it because some to some degree if you detect that this kind of the stuff it is not very good experience yeah, for, it. Alarm for it yeah this is miss alarm have a bbb for the long time for the all the time so uh, this is kind of it um i received uh, information from uh, one friend uh, he told me that uh, uh he is asking uh, he is asking um just uh, could it be possible uh, to use our product could it be possible you use our product in two sensor yes it is can be used the two sensor it is up to you to install the our product in two sensor at this moment and then um we our product can be up to a four to the two sensor for it maybe the two sensor some of the card some of the friend asking if from the uh, from the from sensor yes Normally, this is the one, two, three, four. We can also use the two yeah, two, for side. two side of it. So uh, another there is another friend just uh, how is the distinguish the distance? Actually, the distance just like this. Um, it will be have the if I have a display, it will be the red, yellow, and then the green. The distance to I also have the figure on it. The display. 
Yeah, you can if you see the display they are bigger. But for the parser, for the parser, the beep 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 will be different for it. So uh, maybe Mr. Bill, could you show our difference the display for our the sensor? So that you can have a better idea to explain. You can see that this is our buzzer. Basically, uh, most of our customers choose the buzzer for put uh, stick on the dry on the uh, dry inside, and then will be the reminding for you for the beep sound. This is our buzzer. You can see that there will be the two pattern side for us to choose. Uh, you can see this first. There is the H. Or L. This means that there will be the high frequency or the low frequency sound for the customer to choose. Uh, to choose the uh, the sound is for the high frequency or the low frequency. And then this is the uh, three level uh, sound value for the cast for the driver to choose. To maybe some uh, driver will be uh, like the will be like the higher. Higher, higher, higher value will be some car, some driver will be uh, prefer to the lower value, and also depend on the uh, budget uh, sticker side. Maybe some driver will be stick in front of a car. Maybe some will be stick on a uh, rear of a car. Then the driver can be adjust the sound value to our budget to they want to hear. In case, uh, in order uh, make them to hear the buzzer to have the wrong in when they are parking. This is our uh, uh, buzzer function of it. And then you can see that there will be the LCD, uh, there will be the LCD display and the LED display. Uh, this is our uh, LCD display. You can see that it's very, uh, it's very slim. And then, uh, When he uh, when he stop, there will be the this LCD display. There will be the red and the beat uh, and the long beat sound for you to uh, remind you the must to you must to stop the your car. Otherwise, you will be get crashed or the for your rear parking or the front parking. And then you can see that the LCD display, uh, there will be the green color and then the red color. That means that the near side for your the uh, get close to the ob object, there will be the green, then to the yellow, to the red, to remind you that the distance is get close. And then there will be the figure show on the uh, LCD display also. And you can hear this that you can hear the human voice from this LCD display. This means that our LCD display also have not only with the BB sound but also have the human voice to remind you how the distance you are parking for the object. And this is this is the LED display you send you can hear very clear to see the distance from the from from the this uh, icon. Uh, when when he get close, will be the long beat sound for it, and may remind you will be the stop. Stop. And when uh, when to start when you start to parking, there will be some distance to show you maybe the. Uh, 2 meter, 1.5, 1.2, 1.025, and then to when you get close to the obstacle uh, object, there will be a uh, long sound to remind you it must to be stopped, and then uh, will be the human voice to stop. Okay. This is the basic introduction for our LCD display and the LED display. Okay, it looks very nice that display, so that uh, we have a difference, the distance. You can detect different distance. You can you can know how it is reversed. 
Uh, and then what is the more, at this moment, our uh, LCD or LED display can be, uh, actually we have a self-detection about our product. What is the self-detection? Do you know it, Mr. Will? Self-detection does mean the uh, learning by themselves? Actually, it is not. Self-detection, it means that when we start our the ECU, it will detect our the ultrasonic sensor works or not to in case uh, in case any one of the sensor have a problem it can remind on the LCD or LED display so that we can replace our the uh, sensor timely and then we can fix our sensors to timely it will be also to the I think to my degree it will be also a safety to guarantee for the driver so that the driver will be have an idea to update or to change another new sensor. So that is the self-detective. The self-detective, the uh, self-detection, the uh, function will be available at the beginning of the when we start the car, when we start the ACC on, when we start the ACC on. So it is a very good uh, pro, uh, reminder for our mm -hmm. driver at this moment. Okay. Uh, so today we will bring another kind of the product. Uh, about the uh, APDS A1 A10 with the V10 the uh, with the V10 the display V10 display is a uh, combined with the human voice remind 0 point meter 0 point 3 meter 0 point 5 meter that you can remind the driver uh, here is the distance is very yeah. close on the display it can be available in the A sensor or the 6 sensor. It is up to the customer. One ECU can cover is the A sensor we say. What is more, ours the package actually is very big one. And then you can see here it is ours the display. display. Here display have a different the button on it. Here is the loudspeaker to remind the driver. It looks like very nice and smaller displays on it. And then here is the very ECU with a different port for it, and then the difference the detected uh, uh, distance, the cable, and then the sensor core, sensor truck. Okay, do you know, Mr. B, we have a different uh, sensor truck for uh, the customer? Some, maybe some customer want to inside to want the inside bumper, bumper sensor or the fast multi band sensor. Our our products can be available for it. Yeah, sure. At this moment. We have a different the sensor truck. Different sensor truck it means that we have a different color for the sensor. Different color for the sensor. You can choose the color. You can choose the color number. Choose, uh, choose color number. Uh, choose the color number. You tell us we can provide relevance the color number. But for the further development, more and more car they have a very special the color at this moment. Yeah. So we will develop the, this kind of the different sensor. We have a different sensor. Such as uh, this kind of the sensor can be painted in the different color at this moment. And this this kind of the sensor is the popular for the some Hyundai for for the uh, Hyundai or Honda in the car. Yeah. And then this kind of the sensor is uh, popular in some European the sensor. So as long as you provide your idea for us. We will provide relevance the sensor to your relevance the market. It will help you to sell the more uh, convenient and better at this moment. Here it is our the sensor charts the introduction. So uh, today uh, we have uh, bring the our the parking sensor in the our two kind of the product. But actually we still may uh, have a developed different kind of the product, such as the. Um, uh, wireless the uh, parking sensor. Do you know the wireless the parking sensor? Uh, you mean that we uh, our the communication between the display and the ECU is wireless? Ah, uh, it means that uh, the bus is the wireless to the sensor at this part. Yeah. So uh, it will not have a cable. It will not have a cable because to some degree, if the uh, trailer. Uh, the small truck, uh, not small truck X is the, how can I say, such a pickup, pickup such a this size, and then in the abroad they will have a longer tra trailer to uh, Jeffrey, to Jeffrey something, such as a boat or something. Yeah. The wireless, the sensor can help them to detect it well, to install the sensor in there. So that is the 
uh, what we are talking about is that this is kind of the new product. Uh, you actually welcome you to watch ours the uh, parking sensor, and then you can leave the more message. We can exchange the idea with you uh, when you leave the comments to the YouTube and then the Facebook, and then it is welcome you to send me the email to us so that we can have an idea what kind of the product we, we just uh, support you and then we can help you better about uh, our the product. So uh, I suppose the hours the parking sensor is almost uh, finished and then we can move to the more product uh -huh. also. Mm, car alarm, yeah correct, you are correct Mr. Bill. Car alarm, it is another topic for today's the, uh, product. Um, as we see, when we uh, buy a car, they, get, they comply with a car alarm that will be better for us so that if the, somebody knocks your car, steal your car away. Because the, in so many countries, uh, the thief and the robber is, the, in, is the, not available, it is it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And then your car, it is still a very high value. Yeah. High value is the treasure in this part. As I see, I ha have been to the in Tombia. In Tombia, in Tombia there is a car is about the third, 20, oh, more than 20, uh, 22, 22 to the 25, uh, uh, not 22, 250, 220 uh, IMB, yeah. 1,000, 200, 250,000 for, for, for a vehicle at this moment. Yeah. It is also the second handed the vehicle, it's not the first handed. Um, that is the reason the car to them it is the very high highest value for them. And then what is more, if the somebody steal the your car away and then the because the Africa the land is very vast, vast yeah. land, and then the, they can drive to somewhere you cannot check on it, you cannot buy. It is very hard to buy it at this moment. Uh, since the signal, since the uh, checking, the technology is not very good at this moment. So that is the reason our the car alarm, our car alarm still available. But car alarm, to some degree, it is very wide and a very large the, uh, concept at this moment yeah. because it is including the central lock. It is including the uh, window closer. It is also including the some trunk, of uh, the open. yeah the trunk open the area. That is the reason we cover provided the different kind of the product. And today uh, I, I saw a very cute box at this moment. Could you have a brief introduction about it? Uh, this is our new product for the central locating system. That means that. If you buy, you can we uh, let me show our uh, friends for the com for its component first. You can see there is the ECU, there is the cable, uh, there is the two remote for it. You can see that our remote really high end design, and it's really uh, it's really to as easily to uh, press the button for you to control the uh, alarm system. Uh, for this alarm, uh, for this model, we call it uh, ST500. ST500, uh, this model, we can uh, pair, the, uh, pair the code of our, our original uh, car alarm system of the car. Mm. Do you know what it means? Uh, actually, I, can, I do not know it. Uh, this means that uh, if your car has the original uh, car alarm system, you can uh, you can install our this product and then can be the and then use our system to pair the uh, pair the pair the original alarm system. Uh, you can use this uh, to update your alarm system. Oh, it looks like uh, one kind of the product to for the car with the uh, central lock system, but the central lock system is not activated. Yeah. Yeah. As I see here, so many car. Uh, take example in Thailand, so many car is uh, compliant with a central lock, but the central lock they when I buy the low low level the the very low uh, is not the low very cost effective the car version they will not activate this kind of the function. You need to use the some of the key to lock it. 
Oh, just like the low mode key to lock and unlock the door. Yeah, 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 lock the door. That is a central lock. It means that it have uh, when the car is uh, compliant with a uh, motor, the window, uh, the uh, the lock motor uh, for it, we just uh, send a message. Our our the issue send a message to it. It will activate this kind of the function to lock it the the door. Uh, automatically, yeah. So they they have uh, required the car with the the lock the window lock first, so yeah. that we can have an idea to send the information to it. Here is the some our wiring for it to supply the power to the our ECU. Here some wiring for it. So more more the details can be reach can be read in our the uh our the menu is here. But uh, yeah. but uh, do you have a more function to this uh to introduce to our the uh, our the friend? Uh, I'll put that uh, the basic function for the lock and unlock for the central lock. What's more, then he can also be used this TV mode to have to open your trunk to open your trunk. Ah, uh, trunk release. It. Yeah, trunk release. Basically, uh, some driver will be very happy to go out to the rear side to open the uh trunk again when he hang when he uh hang with the made the heavy force or the cargo inside mm -hmm. so he will be have the button for it for help you to trunk release for you in advance then you can take the cargo take the goods on, on uh or inside of your car privately mm -hmm. and then there will be also the local location function for you or mm -hmm. we use our remotes that means that when you part this uh uh alarm alarm button there will be the uh turning light flash and the uh, siren chipping for for you for you the locating the car if you if you uh, forget the car uh, parking somewhere low in the parking uh, more parking side then as you know that the more parking is very big mm. it's hard to find the car when you low, forget to the car side you are parking mm. So this is very nice to have a locating for your car. Yeah, what's more, we also have the uh, uh can be adjust the central lock type. Mm. Basically, uh, basically there will uh, some central lock type will be the fixed, but our model can be adjust the central lock type to be longer and to be shorter according the driver. Uh, like okay, I see. It looks like very nice the product. And then the next thing, what is it? Uh, and then it also can be control the window open and uh, window open and close. Uh, but this case will be at the condition your car have been installed the motor of mm -hmm. the of the of the door. Mm -hmm. I see. The another one. It is the. About the power window output, I see it is it, it is. What is the function of the power window output? Would you have an idea with it? Uh, the power function output that means that uh, if you uh, push, uh, press the button for the lock, the the all window will be the. That means you have the lock the car or the central lock of car. Mm -hmm. At this time, uh, maybe some guy will. Uh, Open the open the window and forget to the close the window. Mm -hmm. When you close, when you press this button, all the window will be closed automatically. Oh, it means that, uh, such take example such as me. Sometimes I will uh forget to lock the another window because yeah. four window to some degree. When I in the rush, uh, when I in rush, uh, I catch the up the time. Uh, I sometimes I will forget the window if I come across a heavy rain in that day. My car will be have uh, immersed with the water, so that is the reason we we can use the discount of the function when I push the uh, lock the button on the transmitter. There is a power window output of the twenty seconds at the same time. All the window will low up automatically. All the window will be low up automatically. So it means that the window can be closed by yeah. itself. But the priority, what it is. But the priority, it is the 
window with a motor. with a motor with yeah. a server is there so that it can be work at that, that moment. So please check your car whether it's a compatible with a server or, or motor is there. If it's a compliant with a motor or if a server there, it can be help. It can help you to close the window automatically after you install our product. So it is very convenient and very good the product at this yeah. moment. Uh, there is, as I'm, I'm just a survey, there is an LED indicator. Uh, what it is, the, what is it? Because the LED indicator, it is to for what function for it? LED indicator for the reminding for, for the reminding alarm when he was some, maybe some, uh, when in the alarm station, when you arm the car, the LED will be inside for you. Mm. Inside to remind you that your car will have been alarmed mm. and in the alarm state, uh. maybe have some alert mm. to function to the staff or some guy who want to get close to your car. Oh, I see, I see. So uh, there is it. So more detail can be read out on the menu when you buy our product because uh, the wire it will be as we see there's so many different color for it. Yeah, for so, the different uh, uh, wiring. Yeah. Yeah, as we see, this is the wiring for the windows, the racings, the output. If we, if we connect to this, the green cable, this green cable, this is a different kind of the cable. It looks like complicated, but it is not very the. Uh, hard to install our the product since uh, our product will do all the uh, idea based on the model of the car. So it means that it's very common for this kind of the installation when you are sending to the workshop. Okay, it looks really very nice and compact size for the our ST500. ST500 it is the central lock and when it is also compatible with the window closing when it is the car is the, with the window windows the closing at this moment actually Mr. Will yeah. I have to share one idea with you in my car um, I bought the car two years three years ago, three years ago yeah. and then my car I think it is also belongs to a new car at this moment but I do not know uh, we have uh, window closing the this the uh, function of my car. It yeah. should be activated by the 4S shop to the to the to the car maker shop, so that I can have the window closing the function. But if I do not to activate such function, uh, I cannot enjoy it. So as you see, uh, for the some Chinese, the some new car, they still do not have such kind of the function. Of it, so but I, I believe that uh, more this is a very useful and very also. attractive. Yeah, because to my degree, um, sometimes they to some to some car they do not need to have a siren. They do not have a various the uh, what is it the engine lock for another uh, for it, but they do need the just like the central lock. Function. Yeah, central lock. Uh, they they do not need to the key to open and then yeah. lock the gate uh, they have an arm and this arm lock for it and then this is also have a landing for the, this, the system this is very good one for this moment for the locking and the unlocking for it okay this is the one kind of the product we have now today this is the central lock system the 5ST500 central lock system and then uh, Mr. Will could you bring more the, another kind of the product or have a more uh, idea about difference the product? Uh, as you know, uh, we are now talking about the one-way uh, alarm system. Uh, we our still may also develop different kind of the two-way alarm system. Mm -hmm. uh, as you see, as you see, there we, there is the two-way car alarm system. You can see the package. It's really high end. It's really just like a gift box. Yeah, just like a gift box. Ah, okay. I mean that way. And this is the magnetic, uh, magnetic uh, box to be open very easily. You can see this component is the siren. This is the shock sensor. It's a ECU, and then it's the cable, mm -hmm. and then it's the remote, and then it's the antenna.
Mr. Mark, could you have uh, some idea what's the actual feature of the two-way, this two-way alarm system? Is uh -huh. the best feature for it? Yeah, the one of the feature of about the two-way. What it means, the two-way, it means the when somebody knocks your car, you can receive the information from your key, from your remote. Then you can feel the vibration from the remote, you can hear the sound from the remote. That means that you can enjoy, uh, you, can, you can know somebody knocks your car and you will go out to check and then the see if that somebody will, we will not be escape for it. So, the, the second for it, uh, the distance for the two way is the uh, motors, uh, this the car alarm, this the A006, is the FSK the technology. FSK technology uh, will be insure, will ensure the data delivery most in more state uh, stability and then it's the no, you, the, 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 the yeah it can be also in the long distance. If the, somebody knocks your car, you can go to your car to check it. So um, this is the basic function about it. It's also a, a compliable with the central lock, with the uh, anti hijacking, and then we uh, have a, a truck releasing and so many is the uh, function. That means that the basic the uh, one way is the car alarms the function. It can be uh, satisfied, and then it also can be developed in the two way because the two way. It is more keyboard. This is the very the advanced and the keyboard is the feature for it. So um, to some degree, it is still in the China at this moment. Yeah. When we buy our vehicle, they all they always give me the remote without the two way. Only some very high end the car can be compatible with the two way. The yes. remote, so that the two ways remote can help us to know our the car situation, whether it, it can also have uh, 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 how can I say the what can I say because the two ways the for it is the self code the coding, yeah. and then it can be the uh, longer distance, and then you can know your car and uh, any anywhere for at this moment. So uh, yeah. I see the there is the one, two, three, four figure on it. How is the function for this? As you see here is the basic function for the lock and unlock on the, on the this the button. And then the next button it is the uh, this the sound is the mode. The mode, the sound. The, the, the second the fourth function you can see here there is the uh, truck releasing. And then when you are pushing the this the truck releasing, it will be uh, pushed the uh, here, the truck releasing, and then here it is the, uh, in the mode, and then also you can use this kind of the lock button for the long push here, you can find the car locating. So yeah. it means that the basic function for the two-way, uh, uh, the, the one-way can be compatible with the two-way uh, function, that you can help you better, better to see your car. And then uh, ours the component is with uh, this the antenna. This is the antenna will be installed in the front of the car. It can be more stable to receive the signal yeah. calmly. So it is very good one, and then a very uh, impressed one for the this the calm cars the remoting here. Um, as we see, the another feature of it is it can be the rechargeable. Here is this the internal the uh, battery the internal battery for it. Internal battery for it, that means that when the power runs out, you can recharge both for, from the power port, the port for it. And then uh, here, actually this is the old model for it, yeah. since the port is still the, uh, uh, the wrong one, the, the wrong one. So it's, they will be having uh, update to the USB one? Yes, we have updated with the USB one in this kind of the remote, two remote, so that the people also can charge the USB uh, power company for the two, this two kind of the remote. And then um, this kind of thing, okay, maybe we, we can see here. Uh, the truck releasing, when we inject the car, when they have alarm to remind you the signal, that is also, as you see this uh, big picture, that has a signal, you can know if your signal is good on, good lit or not. This looks like a small, very yeah, small, small like phone. the telephone, the signal. Yeah, very small phone to see, it, to see it. Also, with the FSK technology, the anti-interference uh, will be better than another kind of the 
uh, technology. Way remote. Yeah, one way remote. It looks like very nice and very is the good one. Um, and then the, there is another the function for it. It is the uh, human voice. Actually, it can be also available for it. But uh, actually, we are the, the noise for it is the enough for the operation. So this is the two way. Uh, about the two way, you can see that uh, will be the picture on the on the screen, right? This means that is it means that when you are someone have the lock your car and you can see the actual situation from this remote, right? Mm, you're right. You're correct. So, uh, if there's somebody knocks your car, it can receive your information from that this the uh, remote, and then the remote can have uh, all the information um, on it. So that's that you you can know what it is, and then this is a small clock into it. If you yeah. saw the time, if you also know the, your time. It looks like a watch yes. to some degree. Also, you can have an alarm for setting the clock. So it is the, our very convenient and a very nice design. And since it can be a, the size is not very big one, it is also easy to carry yeah. with the key or with or something. It looks very nice one. And then it also looks very cool when I bring this the remote out. When I bring this the remote out, and then it looks like um, maybe the people, maybe your friend will ask you what it is high technology. This is the still made two-way. This is the still made two-way car alarm system. Okay, here it is about our still made two-way car alarm system. Yeah. And then uh, maybe we can have a further another new two product. Way. I want two-way model. Yeah, uh, uh, ex excuse me, Mr. Will. Maybe have a, let me have a brief the introduction about our two way. Yeah. Uh, as we see, our we support our agent in the in Chongbia. We will print. We have the print. Ours the agent. Ours the agent's the uh, information on the uh, our eight zero zero six, so that our agent can be. Uh, ours the agent can sell the product well, and then if you are the dealer in the in Chongbia or the South F uh, or the uh, East Africa, you can come to our agent for more details for most of the product because uh, we still may co have a cooperate with the agent, confirm the relationship with the agent, we support our agent, we will do everything for our way agent uh, so that the agent can sell well and then the our agent will be do their is can be uh, have a, can help them to better to do it in the uh, South Africa. And then the uh, this is what our star. Uh, that this is the sorry, it is East Africa, our agent in Tombia. Please the see here, so that uh, if you are in Tombia, you you can go to our agent to find to talk with him. It will be better for have more information. Okay, since it's here. Okay, the next one is the AAAE. This is a traditional package. Yeah, this is a traditional package. Uh, as okay, okay, something, something. Okay, uh, here it is the introduction about our two ways, the car alarm, car alarms, the product, and then we will introduce another one, it is ours, the AAAE. This is our traditional box, we update it into the uh, South Africa in the, in the white and the green star package at this moment. So uh, this is just uh, have a brief introduction, the AAAE. AAAE in the, uh, what is the function for it? It is the same with the A899. The function is same with the A899. What it is the function of for it? Mr. Will, do you know it? The uh, feature? The big feature of this uh, will be the PKE function. As uh, yesterday we talked about the uh, uh, motorcycle, motorcycle. motorcycle alarm system, we have the PKE motorcycle alarm system uh, we, uh, based on our development for further alarm system. And this, for this car alarm system, we also have the PKE model for it. 
This is the two-way PKE model for the car alarm system. Uh, PKE means that uh, when we when we get this PKE remote in our in our side, and then when we get close to our uh, car, uh, the car will be automatically to this uh, design or arm when you get close or when you leave the car. Uh, let me have the brief introduction for the component. You can see this is the menu, this is the siren, and this is the cable. This is the shock sensor component to adjust the uh, sensitivity of the shock sensor. And this is the antenna. This is the relay. relay. This, this is the cause for your charging, for your recharge, your uh, remote when he's run out of the battery power. This is the antenna also. This is the PKE antenna. That means that this means that this PKE antenna is the, the connection between our PKE remote to uh, uh, treat the PKE function. This means that uh, our PKE antenna to install inside our car, and then uh, when you take this PKE uh, remote, when the when the remote get close to this PKE antenna, will be automatically disarm the car alarm system. And when the when the P, when the PKE remote and when you when you lock uh, manually press the lock. Uh, alarm uh, to lock the car, and then you get flash to the car, and then will, there will be low signal between the PKE antenna and your remote. They also will be automatically arm the car to lock the car. This is the uh, our uh, our uh, basic feature of this PKE alarm. So, Mr. Will, may I know we just are talking about uh, some of the function for it because I saw there are some button on it. Yeah. Do you have a brief the introduction about the function of this button? Uh, for this part, uh, for this remote, uh, we can see that there will be the uh, arm and this arm for the front, and then the side there will be the mu alarm. Mu alarm. That means that uh, when you press this button, there will be the low siren trip for it, just the turning light to flash to remind to the lung and this lung and someone to shock your car. And then there will be the button for the train release. When you press this button, the train release will be the train will be released when you press this button. And then there will be the setting setting button for the remote. That means when you press this button, there will be the setting of the remote. Maybe the time and the something of the remote. You can see this uh, on this car box. Do this box. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be the signal of the remote mm -hmm. to the car lungs, to the antenna. Uh, we, uh, if the signal is very low, the, the signal is very low, will be the will be some uh, level of the, this icon to show. And then there will be the battery battery status to show on the screen. There will be the mu sound, mu, or the, have the sound to adjust your constant. There will be the time. And then there will be the PKE. This means that when you open this PKE function, there will be show you have been open this VKE function and you and when you close the PKE, this PKE function you can also to uh, use your button to open your close your car system. So it means that uh, PKE it means that when we get close to car you will disarm automatically you can get into your car yeah. when you carrying this kind of key. But uh, uh, when you leave your car it will lock automatically after you leave the car. But after it cannot sense your key, your 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 what is it? The remote yeah. re, re, around you, so it can help you to get your cars at any time. So yeah. that is the PKE decide at this moment for hours the car alarm. Uh, with this kind of function, 
uh, is more advanced than the uh, A006. A006 it looks like just a uh, uh, very stuck basic the yeah. two-way car not for it. But the uh, one but for the this the PKE function the AAAE we also call it the AA99. Um, it can be very the good one at this moment for the cars the PKE function. There is more advantage and the very uh, have uh, a feature. There's a very good the feature for this the PKE the function. Um, as the Mr. Wheel have an introduction, lock the lock arm, this arm button, and then here is the car locating with the uh, side, with the mute mode. Yeah. And then the so another kind of it, it is available for for it. So at this moment, so uh, as uh, as we know. Uh, the uh, model, the this kind of the PKE function, it is a very the good one yeah. at this moment. So um, it looks very nice product, and then we can uh, use it uh, for the PKE the uh, function for the hours the car. So yeah. at this moment, okay, it looks like very nice the product, and then we have uh, more idea about the uh, hours the another product because the what is the any feature is for it? No, or have a new one. Uh, this product, is, this PKE product, is normal, not only include the basic features such as the alarm, uh, this alarm, and then the locating, and then the view alarm, and then the panty hijacking, mm -hmm. and then the sensitivity adjust, uh, soft sensor sensitivity adjustable, uh, and then the door close remindering, and then the we arm automatically. This means if you close this PKE function, PKE function and you forget to arm your remote, and the, the system also will be automatically alarmed uh, in some times. This ensure the secure, ensure to protect your car in the secure uh, position competition. Okay, I think it looks very nice. For our, we support our the our the agent in the different country. Take example in the Ethiopia, he also brings the our the uh, agents the information in the this the box the here so that you can find our the agent in the Ethiopian company so that it can help you to for the better sales in the East Africa. Okay, here it's a finish for the PKE. Yeah, uh, the product, and then maybe we can move forward to another product for the, what is it for the. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, very high end products. We call it Ranger. 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 Do you know about uh, about it? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm suppose I. It looks like a very common is the two way car uh, for it. Is this uh, the it's common one or not? It's the lock, the common one. It will be the use the Lola technology. What is the Lola? What is the advantage of the Lola? Lola technology will be the uh, we see the distance or transmitter will be up to eight kilometer. Wow, it looks like very long. That means that uh, we can use our use this uh, two way two way remote to see. To see the uh, to see the state of our car, uh, within the eight kilometer. Oh, it's so very a long one. And then for the control, for the control uh, distance to up to the five kilometer. That means you can use the this remote to control your car, uh, in within the five kilometer normally. Hmm. I just uh, received uh, information from my friends just uh, told me that uh, what is the Lola technology. Okay, let me repeat again. Lola technology, it means that it can be sent the information in the longer distance. The distance can be reached to the actually 5 km to the 8 km. Actually 5 km. We see in yeah. 8 km. So, um, uh, as we see, when we are car parking in the, just like take example in Thailand, because yeah. our the apartment and parking lot together in the same building. Maybe in the bottom of, in the middle of the, this the building is the parking lot, so that the people can go to the apartment to take the car in the parking lot. Uh, yeah. So, it means that in, the parking lot maybe have a two to three, three, three is a level, three floor, yeah. three floor for it. That's in this the three floor, you can receive your car information in your apartment, so that if anyone knocks your car or have a damage to your car, you can know it. You can immediately go to check your car.
Yeah. Even in the very large the parking lot, it's not in a, a very uh, high apartment in the large uh, parking lot. If somebody knocks your car, you have an idea. You have an idea about, oh, if somebody knocks my car, I should go to check my car and then we should uh, have an uh, idea, oh, uh, we, we should knock. We should knock the, to, to let the thief to touch my car and to check who is knocking my car. So that it is the advantage, the uh, uh, function and feature for the Lola. Actually, the Lola technology is uh, using for the mobile phone at this moment. So that is it, the situation it looks like very nice. Yes. And then I, I observe uh, one of the smallest, uh, um, what can I say? Uh, because I, uh, I will. Uh, I uh, observe there's a 12 volt. 12 volt, what, do you know what it means, Mr. Will? 12 volt, that means that it can monitor in the car voltage. Yes, you're correct. So, why we need to see the car voltage in the 12 volt? Okay, let me share a story about myself. When I, uh, I one day, I just uh, yeah. start my car, I, I just initiate my car to my friend's home. And yeah. then uh, when I back the car to start my car, it cannot start. Do you know what is the happen? My uh, battery run out. Yes, I suppose that's uh, two possibility. The one possibility have uh, some maybe the very worst one, the damage of my engine. Yeah. But this is the less possibility mm -hmm. for the damage for my engine. The second, I'm just thinking, it is about my battery. If my battery runs out, I cannot ignite my car. So what can we do? We need to find uh, somebody, another car, to get the power to start the engine so that I can go out to find a workshop to change the battery or do everything. So at this moment, I, I'm very holy. Do you know why? Because at this time, it is 10 o'clock in China, in the night time. Yeah. It means that the workshop closed. Yeah. The outside, and then the people have go to the. Oh, some of the people have go to the bed. I have to figure out to call my friend to come here to save me, uh, to uh, deliver the battery, the power to change the battery. Yeah. For it, so to some degree, it is really is not a very uh, good experience for yes. it. If with the, this kind of the uh, remote, so that we know the battery is the, the yeah, it's not. It's not, it's not enough. The voltage is less. Voltage is less than the 12. You should be care about your battery. You should change your battery company. So to my opinion that this is another function to monitor, to see how it is the battery situation. This is another function for it. Yes. So car alarm at the very beginning of our Today's the talk show. I just uh, remind you, remind every the friend that car alarm. It is not only just alarm for the to the scare the thief, to the lock the engine, to the uh, engine curing and uh, everything. Uh, it is also one kind of the product uh, have a central lock and other uh, so many is the function for it. So this kind of the Lola and the ours the two way, as you see, the twelve is there. Also this is have the battery yeah, bat data to remind it. Yeah, this is also have a battery to remind you so that oh you have an idea, oh I need this kind of the uh, function there so that we can use it properly and then we can uh, have a more idea about uh, this kind of our battery. So it can be uh, actually especially when you are drive to the rural, uh, rural area there's uh, no people but it's luckily at this time i have a friend to save me to yeah. change a new battery at this time so if i can have a one of a product and remind me like this i will avoid such kind of the embarrassing the uh, accident of my car so i think this is another function it looks like a very small one it's not very the eyes catching but it helps you really it helps you that is it yeah So for this uh, long ranger series, uh, as we repeat it again, you it, it can be the long distance control for a long system. So you if you have the you have the basic situation for the uh, car, or uh, have someone to lock your car, you can see your see you can you can see the situation through your uh, 
through your remote, even if you are far from the car. Repeat again. Is the control system will be the control system of the remote will be up to the five kilometer, and the receive distance of the remote will be up to the eight kilometer. So, if you like this product, you can choose the Ranger series of our steel made product of the car alarm system. Okay. Regarding the Ranger, we have uh, two. Uh, actually, we have uh, four. Four, four models. Four, four, four is the remote. Uh, different kind of the remote have a different kind of the uh, feature on yeah. it. So I uh, we believe that ours the remote can satisfy all your channel. Maybe you have a channel for dealer. You have a channel for uh, some of the marquee, some of the difference that fix the distributor. You can have an exclusive the uh, remote for it that you can update your hours the four remotes to you and then you have an idea to sell it well because we develop so many remotes for at this moment we can have it you can have a talk to your customer that will be okay and this is what is the more uh, you can have a, a remote uh, you can have a more the information please send me the uh, email so that uh, you can download you can check it on the on the website, on ours, uh, our we will reply it in our the email box. In our email box, we have a more idea about our Ranger. We our two way car alarm. We our PKE PKE car alarm. It means that it's very nice and very a good one. It's the really is the uh, without any operation, just uh, very convenient for the driver for the PKE is the function. Yes. It's very very good one and helps our one at this moment. It, it, in my opinion, it looks like very cool. If I show you the key, uh, where on the table somebody talk, oh, your key is a vibration. So you can tell me, oh, this is maybe somebody touched my car at this moment. I should go to check. So it looks like very high technology for you. So uh, I think it is very good one for the for the people at this moment. So mm, at the day, we have a brief introduction about our the PK car alarm system. Uh, our car alarm system also we have a one-way car alarm system. Uh, you can get more detail and specify the uh, parameter uh, when you send me the email so that I can reply you on the email timely. And then the, we still may have a cover a wide range of the product. Not only the car alarm, uh, parking sensor, and then the T TPMS and so many is the product. We also have a more car maker and uh, more agent, different stuff, uh, agent to develop the product at this moment. Yeah. So um, uh, today we are so thanks your time to watching our live so long so that we hope we can have a further cooperation with you. Uh, we can have a more idea with you. So okay, okay. Um, we we well, oh 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 I forget almost I forget one of the one most the very special one. Uh, this is the one way a uh, Bluetooth the uh Bluetooth what is it car alarm yeah telephone can control to through our telephone yes uh this is the one way one way is the one way is the uh mobile one. This is the test tray. Test, tray. test, test tray for uh, simulator. This is the car alarm of mm -hmm. our uh, car alarm system of our ECU, ECU. and there will be the Bluetooth chip inside it. That means that when you download your our app install in your mobile phone, you yeah. can control your car by the mobile phone either. Uh, we also we will comply with a uh, remote to you for the whole set of the product. This is our remote. It looks like very nice and very elegant yes. for the Bluetooth Bluetooth mm. car alarms the system. So, Mr. Will, could you have a very brief the introduction for the, our Bluetooth the car alarm system? Yeah, yeah. Let me and uh, brief introduction for the just first uh, for the button. This is the button for the lock. This is the button for the uh, unlock. This is button for the trunk. This is button for the siren. This is for button for the uh, left lamp. This button for the right lamp. That means that this test tree is more uh, simulated the car. Uh, the car, the situation 
uh, if you install our current system of on your car. So let me show you through the basically uh, through your through the remote to control the car. Uh, that means uh, such as when we press this uh, lock button, lock button, there will be the lock, and then the seven will be treat, and then the left and the right lane will be fresh mm -hmm. together. This is the then then this is the unlock. When unlock, there will be the wing, and then the left and the right lane will be fresh. And and then will be the siren will be together to treat. This is for the, the uh, unlock. And if you if you press the button for the view, will be locked. Uh, will be locked. And then and then will be the left and the right right lane to be pressed. But will be low siren to trip. Okay, it looks very nice. This is the mode. Yeah. And then will be the when you alarm the system, and then we want to locating your car. Press this alarm button, locating your car. Then will be the fresh for fresh some time and ten to the three for the long time. For you can for you can to find your car located. Oh, this is the basic nice. uh, function to use the remote to control the car system. And okay. then we use our telephone to control. This is the first uh, you need to download the app. Download the app. When you download the app, you need to come let come let to the to this ECU to come let to open your Bluetooth. And then we, when you open the Bluetooth, there will be the line to be blue. This means that your Bluetooth have been open. Have been open. That's uh, then. Will be the press into the connect connect situation to connect it to connect this uh, Bluetooth inside the ECU. When you finish connecting, when you finish connecting, you can control this car alarm system through your telephone. Oh, uh, it means that to some degree, uh, you can control the our uh, car alarm system by the mobile phone. You can also control our the our uh, car alarm system by the remote. remote. There's the two way to control it uh, very well. So uh, because the we seen it the mobile phone it is the common one, uh, common the two we use the every day. It is a uh, convenient for us to open my my uh, our mobile phone so that you can control is our car. It is also very cool. Yeah. It's the design for it. Yeah, you can see the interface of our app. You can see the interface is very uh, clean and very high-end interface for so sure. This is the remote of our interface. Just means you can press the such as uh, when you press the when you press the when you press the um uh, lock button, there will be the same function of the press the remote okay. to lock the car. Okay, it looks like very nice. It means that when the function can be worked on the remote, it can also be worked on the mobile phone. Yeah, here's yeah. the view. The view have a very good the uh, uh, displays uh, to our the customer and friends that today to about our mobile phone control about the whole system. You can see that uh, we can use our telephone to control the control the alarm system. Uh, it's very high end and it's very convenient for our driver. When you have when you use the telephone at the same time, you can control your car through your telephone. So this is a uh, very really smart product, right? Yeah, you are correct. This is the product. Uh, not only just the stay on our the physical the remote, it also can be available in our the mobile phone. Um, it looks like this product can be a very nice one for the uh, control for the people. Um, I we believe that it is the child as the more convenient to control the everything by by it. Okay, uh, I suppose the, today is the, all the product we have the finished and then we hope you can leave the message, leave the idea, if we can exchange your idea uh, 
to our email box so that we can reply you timely. Um, we can also we can share our the market situation. We can share the more information we see so that we can work together to make your business to be better in the, this moment. So we hope that um, more information can be shared, and then we will share. We are glad to share our information with you. Uh, uh, thanks for watching our the still based live show at this moment. And then in the afternoon, we will have a more uh, amazing the product will be introduction to you. So uh, please uh, keep concerned on our still make. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Really, thanks for your time for us today. Thank you. Thank you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Okay. Done now. Hey, Saga, Facebook, not you know, and you are not. No, you can't put out the map, but you can't put out the map. Ah, just uh, you know, man, I just go by you, man, you know, man, you know, man, you know, man, you know, Thank you.